Hey there, world travelers, and buenos dias, Cusco, Peru. So we are already off. We got up nice and early. We had some breakfast. Dave had his coffee. We both actually got a good night's sleep, yeah. even in this high altitude. So we're starting to adjust slowly. Yeah. But today, we are on our way to... Paracoyo Mountain. Yes, which is a sister to the, I guess, the Seven Painted um, Mountains, I guess, I am assuming. <laughs> but hey, Paracoyo <laughs> Mountain is where we're off to. Yeah. And it's gonna be really exciting. And we're gonna have some oxygen, I believe. Exactly. You know, your girl here, just sometimes that altitude really rocks my boat. <laughs> right, there's basically supposed to be a whole bunch of colored mountains, you know, very beautiful, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be spectacular. We're gonna have some amazing photos that we're gonna take, and those will be up on our Instagram, so you should definitely check those out. Um, but right now, we are going to focus. We're off to hit the roads, ready to start this day. It's about a three hour, three and a half hour drive to get there. So I'm excited. It's an all day adventure, and I'm, I'm set to go. You ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to get some water for our trip. We don't have water bottles yet, so heading over to a local market here in a local town. It's so loud here. It's yeah, the garbage truck. The garbage truck that plays music. Yeah, the garbage truck plays music. It's pretty funny. In the local market here, pick up some snacks. We were told definitely during these type of high-altitude hikes, you want to have some type of sugar, maybe a banana if you don't like, you know, super sweets. Um, gummy bears are great. You definitely want Gatorade uh, for the electrolytes and water. There's a lot of good stuff there. Oh, and, and maybe some Corona. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Just in case you actually can make that hike. Celebration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we're at a local market here, getting a little bit more coffee you know, before the climb. But it's really cool, they got a nice uh, fruit section over here. A lot of fresh fruit you can get. People definitely love the fresh juice. And then uh, of course our coffee and then other sections. And down below, there's all kinds of things you can get as well. It's just a really neat spot here. entering into the uh, the valley, into the colored mountains. And it's so cute. There's this yeah, pretty baby. young girl right here who gave us some Bye candy. Baby. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> she was so adorable. We just had to buy some oh, yeah. chocolate and some granola. She was a very good sales saleswoman. Very good very sales good. check out some of the seven colors the multiple color mountains hopefully we're gonna get some great footage certainly feeling the altitude at this level um, so we are definitely gonna prepare I'm probably gonna choose some coca leaves hopefully that will give me the energy uh, to continue on because altitude and me we don't necessarily mix but um, it should be fun and exciting I am a little upset with Caesar because he has this <laughs> <laughs> not for me, for him. He looks prettier than me. That's not him. <laughs> and I will say, maybe altitude doesn't mix, but certainly dogs mix with you. I mean, look at all the dogs surrounding well, that's true. Kind of. All the dogs here, all my little fetters. All my little fetters. You can see all of them. And I think they're my friends because they know I have snacks in my bag. Isn't that right? So off to the mountains. They're probably not going to join us. They're going to come wait here for lunch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I will say this though, it is very cold, so we're definitely prepared. I'm glad we definitely brought our kind of wind uh, jackets to protect us a bit. I'm a little nervous, I will say, just because of, you know, our recent uh, excursion to Navarro de Toluca, Mexico City, and you can actually watch a video of that, which is kind of climbing up to about 14,000 uh, feet, uh, which is interesting, and I didn't quite make it. So I have, on a mission today to really kind of get up there to see the beautiful colors. I'm a bit nervous. I think we're a little more prepared this time just because we know sort of what to expect, but um, we'll see how this goes. You know, you guys keep your thumbs up for me. I hope that I make it. And besides, I have Dave. 
big wave day back there because he's just gonna rock and roll it and take care of his Tanya. That's right, we're gonna do it today. We're doing it. <laughs> you heard it from oh, yeah. the man. So he's gonna make sure that I get up this mountain with him. But just take a look if you can quickly see deep in the horizons, like even over in this direction here, you got some of the, the colors already vibrantly popping off the mountains. And even up here, yeah. some of the seven colors, you can kind of see the transition. So it should be really spectacular up top and we're headed up there now to see that. So here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Jeff. Gracias, bienvenido. So again, with the cocoa leaves, I'm going to take a bunch and you just kind of put them in your mouth. And you stuff them in the side and you let the coca leaf do its magic, which is gonna help, really kind of help adjust with the altitude. Um, we do feel great, you know, even Dave said it, he feels great right now, and it's, it's all about focusing. So when you're on these trails, you really need to kind of focus, take you know, slow steps, deep breaths, and really kind of channel into your, uh, your adventure. So we're at the first lookout point, and can you actually guess what? animal that is we are we're kind of saying alpaca doberman but can you guess what animal this is <laughs> good leave it in the comments below we'd like to know Doing it, babe. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous up here. It's amazing. You have, you have Rainbow Mountains. You have red valleys. You have the great green, gorgeous it's sun. Unbelievable. And an incredible kind of a, a rocky top of this mountain over here, which is really impressive. It's, well. it's so beautiful. Woo. Altitudes not as bad as I thought so far, but we still have yeah. quite a bit to go. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I, I always, agree. When I first get out of the car after driving up. It's tough. Very it's much so. A bit, you know, I have to really. Breathe deeply. Yes. Peacefully, almost meditate. You know, meditating. Yes. Yes. And Absolutely. Focus, but I'm starting to feel better. Absolutely. Here we go. We have another friend who's joined the family. Yes. His name is Bruno. Bruno is so sweet. Hi, Bruno. Go. Ah, the second lookout. Here we come. Wow, the second lookout. Look at that. The rocks. It almost looks like a wall over there. He knows he's getting to the top and he's just trucking along, trucking along. <laughs> Hey, we made it. 
everything. We made it to the sacred point. Oh, I'm so proud of us. <laughs> so proud of us. And now we're gonna have a special ceremony that Caesar's prepared for us. I'm ready to embrace that because I need a break. <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, David and Tania. You came in this uh, spiritual world. This purpose, uh, the purpose of this offering for you is for you business, new projects, and for your children and your family and the other families. Okay, so let me explain what's happening here. Well, Caesar's grandfather was a shaman and taught Caesar all the ways of shamanism. So sadly, with this being our last hike here in Peru, once we made it to the top where this sacred stone area, I guess you would call it, is located, Caesar wanted to perform a ceremony and offering to Pachamama. Now, Pachamama is a goddess revered by the indigenous people of the Andes. She's more known as Mother Earth or Time. So by performing this ceremony and offering to Pachamama, she would in turn provide protection, prosperity, joy, happiness, all that great stuff to us as well as our family. Muchas gracias, family. Muchas gracias, family. Muchas gracias, family. So this ceremony, along with all the different offerings he explained, it was very interesting to say the least. And we were extremely grateful for his passion and his beliefs. So Caesar, if you're watching this, we just want to say thank you for everything. And Dave and I, we want to wish you and your family a happy, prosperous, and joyous life. Lunch time. <laughs> Lunch time. Oh, and one last thing, y'all. I convinced Caesar to let me rock that gorgeous poncho for the rest of the hike. Booyah! And right now we're at about 4,500 meters. So we're just about a speck hair higher than when we were at Mexico City at Navali Toluca. So my fierce and fabulous husband, Dave, I'm like chicken, you know, S-H. And Dave is like, let's go, we have to beat that number a little bit more. So we're gonna go up here. So look at that. So he wants to go all the way up there, which is about 4,900 meters. Even the clouds are up there. So, oh my God. So you guys, Wish me luck because, well, you know what? I think I can do it. As long as Caesar over there gives me some more cocoa leaves, I think I can do it. <laughs> cocoa leaf for David. Cocoa leaf for David. Cocoa leaf. 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 Cocoa leaf.
kids, kids. <laughs> so we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. 4,900 meters to the top. Yes. We're here. We're greeted by Chico. Who's so soft and so cuddly. And this is what it's all about. To the doggy. Ah, we'll give him an extended tail. Oh, now there you go. Ah, now it's a Doberman adventure. 